Hi everybody, I'm Cara and this is Toby, Theo and Evine and we're here today at Dublin Zoo. This yoga class is part of the Eco Explorers Club series. Inspired by the Zoo TV program, this class is all about biodiversity and how we can help protect Ireland's habitats. During the Zoo TV program on RTE1, we were brought to Trinity College for a fascinating study into biodiversity here at the zoo. When we talk about biodiversity, we mean the whole variety of all the living things here in the world. We saw on the Zoo TV program that Dublin Zoo is located in the heart of the Phoenix Park, making it a sanctuary for loads of native species, including some incredible birds. So we are going to start off our yoga practice today by pretending to be one of those trees here around us in the zoo. So let's come up onto our feet. Okay, come on up onto your feet, guys. Okay, so we're standing up on our feet. These are gonna be the roots of our pose. So let's bring our feet together first of all. I'm gonna show you a few different options here. We'll bring our hands together. And Evie's gonna do the first option, just turning her leg out and keeping the toes on the ground. Toby, let's bring the foot up a little bit higher, a little bit challenging. And then Theo, you show us how you can bring your foot all the way up. Now, the thing about trees that makes them so important for our planet is that they absorb carbon dioxide and then they give off oxygen. Okay, so we're going to take a big breath in and open our branches up to the sky, reaching up to the sun, that's it. Breathing out, root down through your foot really strong. One more big breath in, reaching up. Good, now bring it down. Can we do that on the other side? Okay, so turn your leg out. You can choose to be like Eving, turning your foot out. That's it. That's the one. Other leg. Or like Toby, foot up a little bit. Or like Theo, root down through your standing leg. Bring the other foot right up. So take your time. You know what really helps? Look at one thing. Look at one spot. Focus. You ready? But don't worry if you wobble. We just try our best. Let's bring our branches up. You know that a tree is home to so many different species. Like one oak tree can be home to thousands of different living creatures. Trees are so important for our planet, aren't they? Take a big breath in. They're all so beautiful and lovely to be around. You got it, Theo. <laughs> okay, we'll bring it on down. That's perfect. So let's pretend to be something that you might find living in one of those trees. Let's take our feet a little bit wider. Stretch out your arms because these are now your wings. Okay, we're going to bend our knees and we're going to pretend to take off. We're a bird. Getting ready for flight. It's also really nice warm up for our practice. Get those legs going. <laughs> Even you move forward a little bit. You've got big long wings. Theo is an albatross. He's got huge wingspan. Evie is an owl. And Toby, Toby's favourite bird, is a pigeon. You'd see lots of pigeons around Ireland, wouldn't you? Okay, let's bring it on up to standing, guys. And we're going to be an eagle. And this is kind of a challenging pose. So we're just going to try our best. And if we fall over, it doesn't matter. Let's try it a few different ways. Bring your feet together. And Evie's going to do it this way. But guys, we can do it with her. Okay, we're going to bend the knees. And bring your arms together like this. These are your wings. And it's like you're perched on a cliff. Focus on one point. Now, could you wrap your arms around each other like that? Good. Toby's going to take it up a level. Cross one leg over the other. That's it. Toes on the ground. Now Theo is going to try and hook his foot around the back of his leg. Can you? So you squat down nice and low. Now eyes on one spot. Big breath in. Are you ready? Because we're going to take off. Send your wings out wide. Reach your leg back. That's now your tail. Can you breathe? Can you fly? And bring it in. Good. <laughs> Fab. Got to do it on the other side. You ready? So we squat down, arms together. Can you wrap your arms around each other? Give them a little stretch. Squat down. Toby, take the leg over, right over. That's it, toes on the ground or right behind. Oh, Toby's really rocking this one. Theo, you can keep your toes down if you like. Everybody ready to breathe? Big breath in. Breathe out, go a little deeper. Eyes on one spot, ready to fly. Big breath in. Open your wings, reach your leg back, breathe, soaring through the sky and bring it on back. 
Amazing. Okay, we're gonna come down. Now, today we're lucky, we're outside. My favorite place to practice yoga, sitting here among the grass. Maybe you can practice outside as well. But if not, let's just pretend that you have all this green grass around you. And we're gonna lean back a little bit now with our happy back, hold our toes, balance and lift the feet, pretending to be a flower growing up out of that green grass. Great, you can balance just like this, or you could start to just stretch your leg, one or both. Good, and that's why we have the cushion behind us. <laughs> so if we have to lose our balance, we roll back in our soft cushion. You can even do both legs, stretch it up. Ooh, good. Now bring it on in. Let's sit down. Where there are flowers, there are bees. Now, I know that Toby is very nervous of bees, but bees are so important for us because they pollinate different crops and plants and help them to grow. So what we're gonna do now is a breath called bee breath, which is a really calming breath. And maybe the next time that we come across a bee, we might try bee breath. And remember, we need those bees. So bee breath's so simple. You breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, but when you're breathing out, you make a kind of a humming sound, like your lips really loose, and you hear this sound in your head. And by putting your hands over your ears like this, it really echoes in your head. So we'll just do a little practice of that. Don't use the hands or anything. We'll just take a breath in through the nose and then make a little humming sound as we breathe out. Perfect. So now we're going to do it three times. You can just count this for yourself. One, two, three. And when you're finished your breaths, hands on your knees and just notice how you feel. Okay? Are we ready? So we take a big breath in. Hands over your ears really loosely and start your humming sound. Buzzy bee in your head. You can let your eyes close and really be with that sound in your head when you need to breathe in. You just breathe in again through your nose. And you're not forcing it, but you're just trying to breathe out for as long as you can. Mm -hmm. One more time in your own, with your own breath. Done. You just put your hands down, close your eyes. How do you feel? It's so calm, it's so quiet. Okay, let's come on to our bellies. Okay, so we're going to turn over and come down onto our tummies. You can just perch yourself on your arms here, prop yourself up. Sometimes, if you're lucky, and you look through the grass, you might find an earthworm. Earthworms are so important. Let's bring our hands under our shoulders and pretend to be an earthworm. Rising up, looking around, and just imagine that you're tunneling through the earth. And as you tunnel through, you're creating space for air in the soil. Let's come on down. And then let's rise again as we breathe in. And all that air in the soil is helping the plants to grow. Give yourself a little stretch. You're like something with no backbone, aren't you? Like an invertebrate. Bring it on down. Let's pretend to be a different kind of invertebrate. We have some really near us here in the zoo. Huge, big Burmese python. Rise up like a Burmese python. And everything from that teeny tiny earthworm to the huge Burmese python, they all have their part to play here on Earth. Even the teeny tiny field mouse. Let's come back into mouse pose. You bring your knees apart, your toes together, you sit back on your heels, you snuggle in your head on the earth and you put your hands either side of your head. That's it. And you just settle on down, nice and relaxed. So tiny and so important. Take another breath. And you know what else plays a really important part here on Earth, but is way bigger? The lion. So let's come up. Sit back on our heels. We're going to do lion's breath. You put your hands on your legs. You take a big breath in through your nose. Lovely, happy back. And when you breathe out, stick out your tongue. Look up high. 
Ready? Do that two more times. So you take a big breath in, and when you breathe out, you're letting go of all your frustration. It's not shouting, it's just this big breath. You ready? One more. <laughs> Great. So the lions aren't the only big cats here in the zoo. There's loads of other cats. Let's come onto our hands and knees. Breathe in, lift your head, lift your tailbone. And when you breathe out and round your back into cat pose, imagine you're the snow leopard curling your furry tail in underneath you. Now breathe in again, look up, sticking your tail up to the sky. And when we breathe out this time, we're going to be a cute little cuddly tiger cub. Round your back. So one more time, breathing in, stretching open. Look up. This time, pretend to be whatever is your favourite cat. Maybe it's a tiny little kitten, maybe it's a cheetah, your favourite cat. Now breathe in once more, looking up towards the sky. And we're going to come back into downward dog because I have a special pose just for tigers. So hips up in the sky, bring your feet together. We're going to breathe in and lift one leg way up high. That's like your tiger's tail. And now as we breathe out, we're going to bring our tail into our nose. Give our nose a little tickle. Back up to the sky, big breath in, over to one arm. Breathing out, try and tickle your arm with your tail. Good, right back up. Across to the other side, breathing out. Can you twist it over? Not easy. Back up to the sky, big breath in. Bring that foot down and let's try the other. Breathe in, way up to the sky. Into your nose, tickle your nose. Way up to the sky. Into your arm, breathing out. You're flying, guys. One more time. Other arm. Breathing out. Well done. Way up to the sky once more. And then bring it down. And just walk your hands down towards your feet. Hang down here. Standing on your feet. Hold your hands. Those arms aren't arms. Those arms are a trunk. Big breath in. Up. Breathe out. <sighs> Splashing that water. Over you giving yourself a shower. Oh, lovely. Water is such an important part of the elephant's habitat here in the zoo. Elephants are my favourite animal in the zoo. So one more time, they love throwing the water up over themselves like this, don't they? Now from here, oh, last time, we're going to come up to standing, turn our trunk back into arms, and we're going to go to another part of the zoo, much drier, the African plains. We're going to bring our feet together, and we're going to grow into the tallest animal in the whole world. Bring your arms up. This is your mouth up here now and you're nibbling some leaves. Can you make yourself even taller? Come up onto your toes. Way up high. So good. Breathe and reach up. And then breathe out, come down. You know who shares the African plains with the giraffe? Well, the zebras, but also the oryx. Come up to the front of your mat. Stand one foot there and let the other foot step right back. Bend your front knee, put the back heel down on the ground, really strong legs. Face forwards, have your hands forwards first. Okay, but now we're gonna turn our arms into the beautiful antlers of the oryx. So Theo, face forwards like that and bring both arms up and then bend your knee. Now the oryx is actually extinct in the wild. Take a big breath in. Breathe out, bend your knee because they've been hunted and their habitat has been lost. Breathe in and then breathe out, bring it back. But there is good news. We step our foot up, step the other leg back. About two years ago when we were here at the zoo, a baby oryx was born. Breathe in, bring your beautiful antlers up to the sky. Dublin Zoo is doing a lot of work to help conserve the oryx and even reintroduce it to the wild. Such important work for our planet. So let's breathe in and be that beautiful oryx. Open up, breathe out, bend your knee. That's it, one last time. And then breathing out, step it on up. Beautiful, so from the really dry plains of Africa, we're back to the water. Let's come down onto our hands and knees and see if we can guess who this is. You take a breath in, big breath. 
you're surrounded by water and as you breathe out sit back on your heels and pretend you're going down under the surface of the water breathing out as long as you can and then when you need to you breathe in and you come up again have you guessed who it is it's the hippo breathing out we've seen the hippo stay underwater for 45 seconds so all we're trying to do here is breathe as slow as we can come up when you need to big breath in breathe out even longer Toby I think you probably need a breath in <laughs> you ready let's rise up one more time up we come rising up good and breathing out this time we'll just settle down and relax Now come up from here and it's time for the final relaxation. So why don't we get ourselves a cozy blanket and if you still have that cushion you could put the cushion underneath your knees. Do you want to do that? Grab your cushion put it under both knees if you want to and what we're going to do with the blanket is we're going to stay sitting up for a moment and we're going to put the blanket over our legs like this and then you're going to hold it with your hands at the front like that okay let me make sure these guys are okay over your legs and you just sit up with your happy back and hold the front of your blanket okay you're nearly there even good girl right so this is a little trick that helps us to relax sit with the legs out long i've got an imaginary blanket maybe you do too <laughs> we're going to hold it in front we're going to count down as we roll down five four three keep going two one and then relax and drop the blanket over you good spread your body out on the ground so you feel really relaxed and comfortable maybe you can turn your hands to face up resting the arms down by your body now if you like here just open your eyes and look at what is above you. And then let your eyes close. Now maybe you're like us and you're outside. Maybe you're not. Being outside in nature is so relaxing and so good for your mood. But if you're not outside and you can't be outside, let's just go there in our imagination, okay? So feel lovely and comfortable, make any adjustments you need to make, let your eyes close. And then imagine that above you right now is a beautiful blue sky with maybe some gentle clouds slowly changing shape above you. Feel the soft grass beneath you and the earth supporting the weight of your body like it was giving you a hug. Notice the sounds that you can hear so for the next few seconds, let's just listen. Now imagine that you are a bird soaring up there in the blue sky, flying higher and higher effortlessly gliding on the breeze. You swoop lower and then you rise again. And maybe there are other birds with you, your friends. And you're having so much fun flying up there in this endless space. What do you see below you? From way up high as you look down can you see grass and trees? Can you see rivers and lakes? Beaches and oceans? From way up high in the sky, you look down and you see the beauty and the wonder of our planet. Such an amazing place to live.
feel ready to start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Give your arms and your legs a little stretch. And maybe you bring your knees up into your body. Curl yourself up into a little ball. And then you roll that little ball all the way back up to sitting. And when we come up to sitting, we just cross our legs again. Bring your hands together. Close your eyes. And think of something now in nature that makes you happy. Namaste. Thanks for joining us today, Eco Explorers. I hope you had fun. This yoga class is part of the Eco Explorers Club series. Be sure to check out the rest of the series on the website and tune into the Zoo TV program on RTE.